You're now tuned into me, 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 Million Dollars Worth of Game Concrete Edition, man. It's going down, man. Uh, listen, man. We oh, in the yeah. building, man. We got the boys in, this, in the building. State your name, everybody. So they can know. You over there rolling that resin. <laughs> what up, man? It's your boy, DC2 Trio. You know what I'm saying? Representing Concrete Boys. You know what time it is. AKA Lil Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man, it's draft day, you know, a whole lot of creep vintage, man. It's us, you know, Camo. original. Camo. Lodge. Oh, it is. Big boot. Not the little one. Yo, my dad. Yes, sir. Okay. I just want to start off by saying, right, boot is sitting on 70000 for the Supreme. Seventy eight. Seventy-eight thousand. That's retail for the cost. That's retail. If you want to know, it's two hundred. That's retail though. Sixty thousand for the go yard on the bottom, right? Thirty-four, but shit, we can say. Uh, 60. Oh, thirty-four thousand. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand. Forty-four. And forty-four thousand worth of luggage right there. And this is the only way I'm comfortable. This is just like it's a cozy seat for me. It's just how, it's how I get cozy. You know? I told, I told Wallow and Gills to spot it. We really relaxing and chilling. I don't got one necklace on. Right. It's called a spa day. And you yeah. got 600 on the wrist. Yeah, that's, that's just two I, diamonds. I, I'm sorry, that's more than two. That's just the two braces. Yeah. That's just the two yeah. braces. We yeah, ain't yeah. talking about the pink diamonds. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. Hello. Another 300 in the air. Yeah. Mm. Or 400. Yeah. It's a spa day. Who's counting? Yeah. A spa day, just spa relaxing, day. huh? We ain't going to talk about it. Uh, uh, oh. How many carrots is that in the teeth? 16. <laughs> Uh, and they, they flawless too. They not VS, not VVS. Flawless down. <laughs> Stupid. A lot of paper going on. How much is that? Is uh, how much did that come from music, and how much did that come from uh, outside of music? Because a lot of people don't. Most of it came from outside, except for like uh, the the diamonds in my teeth. You know what I'm saying? That, that was a million. So that came from some some a little here and here and there, here and there, here and there. You know what but, I'm saying? But when you say outside of music, right? Because a lot of people are like. Uh, um, you know, a lot of people just just bank on shows. Mm -hmm. I think majority of rappers bank on shows. Artists in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm so far away from that. I mean, show money is amazing. Don't get me wrong, but uh, man, I, it's just so many ways to do to make triple your show. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like triple your show. I had a nigga last week. I had a. I damn it had a million dollar million dollar week last year. Last week. Or last weekend. Fucking around two things. Two brands. No, one brand. <laughs> one brand, two different things. Damn, so so what 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 game do you get at Concrete Boys? You know what I mean? Cause you you've been well, out I, here for I years. I try to tell them all the time individually, you know. I tell draft like, bro, you good. This shit, it's a door open. I tell you know, all of them like this shit open the door to do what you really wanna do. You know what I'm saying? Like whether that's acting, uh, fashion, modeling, man, this is just this the the path opener. This that like this that, uh, like in Nor Narnia when you go through the closet, you go to the other side of the world. This is just the door open. You feel me? Yeah. That's, that's so neat. I say we got. I I I, I express the importance of, um, you know, having a presence. You know, it's so many artists with hit records that you don't even know who did it. I'm talking about like smash records that you had no clue who wrote the song, who made this, who song it was, because they ain't got no presence. You know, they don't have no character to themselves. They don't have any personality. Or maybe they do, but they don't express, they don't show it. So it's like, it's 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 been hit records that's like, man, they fizz out because it's important to have a personality. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To have character, to be somebody that brands can say, oh, um, we want him a part of what we do because... We know he's funny, or we know he's likable. We know, like, oh, he going to bring people on to whatever it is we trying to promote. You know, directors, shit, man, I saw that video you did, man. It was funny, man. It was a good actor. I want you to come be in this. Or come be in this role. Come take this, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Based off of, I ain't going to lie, I had years when our music wasn't the hottest, and I was still making millions. Yeah. Talking about wasn't getting booked for shows, wasn't really got them streaming well. I'm still making millions. And that's based off of, just running my brand the right way, my social, and my um, and still giving like, just like still connecting with the with the with my fans and with the world, you know, not just through 
music. When yeah. you say running your social the right way, how do an artist run their social the right way? I think everybody's different. I think it, I think first it's important to know, as an artist, to know your lane. What's your demographic? What you like? What messages you trying to point pu- uh, push? What did you like? Like, what are you here for? What is your what is your intention? You know, you gotta have some kind of intention. Is your intention like, I, in the end, I want thirty men. In the end, I want to be the best rapper. In the end, I want to be the best performer. In the end, I want to, you know, switch into acting like Ice Cube. Like, what, what, what is your purpose? What are you doing it for? I think sometimes, and and it's okay if it's just for money. You know, that's fine too. But I think it's important to know what you do it for. I think a lot of rappers just like. You know, either get lucky or are talented, and they just like, man, yeah, we just going with the flow. But like, you gotta know what you in this for. You know, like I, b- before I got popping, I had goals. I was like, man, I wanna, I wanna have a brand. I wanna be aligned. I wanna do creative direction for this company. I wanna, you know, I wanna act one day. I wanna goddamn all. I wanna be recognized as one of the flyest. Like I had, I knew what I wanted. You feel me? And that's important. I think people go through life, um, just going through life, like not having any goals, and it's important. My mom stressed that on me a lot, a lot when I was younger. Like, set goals, so you so you know what to work for and what to work and have a place. Where are you going towards? If you just doing shit, you just you know you just doing shit. You know, it's so much more to life than just like, all right, cool, I'm successful. But what else? You know what I'm saying? You gotta make your life purposeful. Yeah, I always say I I'll never want to be a nigga to like. I ain't trying. I'm not a like a bird and the bad news and one type of niggas, but I always say, knock on wood, if I died tonight, my life was fulfilled. I did all the shit I wanted to do. I went to all the places. I didn't drove every car. I didn't fucked every bitch. I didn't had every designer stitching garment you can purchase. I didn't help. I didn't gave back. I didn't, I didn't did this. I didn't did that. So, like, I would be fulfilled. You know what I mean? I ain't just doing this shit just, like, Making music, putting it out like shit. I don't know what I want. I, I got goals. Every year I check off yep. and what's still there, I go for it again. And I show my notes right now. It's like, shit, you got to hit. I want this much money by the end of the year. I want, I want to, I want to do this kind of tour. I want to go to this place. I want to, you know, I want this many gold or platinum records this year. Like, and it's it's everyone is entitled to their own set of goals. But I think it's super important to set goals so that you know what to achieve. And writing it down, like I feel like. And writing write it down, down. not just like, saying it out loud. Exactly. Write it down, like say it out loud. Have it somewhere where it's visible. You know, like you mm-hmm. can see. That's why I think a lot of people do things um, unconsciously, knowing like I think when you're a rapper, a rapper, and you're in a studio and you're working on a project, and you're writing down all the song titles, that's kind of like you saying goals. You're like I got this, and I, and I'm trying to get to this place, so I got these records. You reminding yourself what records you got, mm-hmm. so don't just do it in one lane. Do it in every lane. Remind yourself, uh, you know, like if, if you're a chef, like what kind of you want a blue ribbon, or you trying to what kind of rating you want at your like remind yourself where you trying to go. So like a you could you you, you have something to work to, and b mm-hmm. like you just. You can enjoy it more because it's like, man, you set that goal. It's not like, oh man, I just lucked up and got rich. Mm-hmm. I just, and it's like, man, I, I, I plan, I plotted this, man. I, this was what I told myself I was gonna do. You feel me? It'll help when you're closer to it and you know, like that's your finish line or that's somewhere you're trying to get to. It's gonna help you. It's gonna be a little bit more push when you like close to somewhere. You ain't. It's, it's gonna remind you, like, nah, man, I'm trying to do this. I got to do this versus just going mm-hmm. through life like doing shit. So let me so let me ask you a question. What's your goal for the next two years? Just try to be the best version of me and just get where I want to get to as far as like music, opening doors of doing clothes, just shit that I've always had visions of doing years ago, but like now on a more serious level and just being able to like have the world see it in like a bigger light, you know. What about you? Uh to be a bigger brand for myself, mm-hmm. you know, to be a part of the culture, to not only be recognized for my music, great music, you know, I want to be recognized for it. I want to be a part of the culture in some way, shape, form, fashion, like whether it's people really like the clothes I come out with or mm-hmm. people really like my influence, you know what I'm saying? Like just somebody that people can look at and be like, yeah, that's a cool, that's a cool nigga. Like, just his point of, like our point of view of things, like people can really relate. R- exactly. Yep. I was on some shit like, man, before I died, 
I gotta leave a mark. Yeah. De- a serious dent. You feel me? Yeah. On you. Um, definitely just gaining a point of financial freedom to where I can help my family more. You know what I mean? Like I'm already uh, I seen what I can do with the music. You know, even with, like how far we got now, mm-hmm. and I just wanna. Uh, I want to actually, you know, spearhead that. You know, I set a lot of goals for this probably five years ago, you know, just talking to my brother, or, you know what I mean? So now it's really time to, now that I see it's actually possible to, you know, go ahead and, and gain that financial freedom. I think it's one that, what's on, your, on your hoodies, what's your slogan is on your hoodie? What's on the front of your hoodie? What you mean? The hoodies what it say? What it say on your hoodie? What it say on the front? The front of uh, what? The, hood, the hoodies that you made? sold, what that you that you represent as your brand. What do they say on the hoodies? The three the letters. Boys. No. Three letters. No. What's, what's the three letters you B-R-A. do? B R A. I'm saying, bro, I have I have more hoodies than that though. What I'm like saying my is that <laughs> what I'm saying is that he he sells hoodies and it says his thing's B R A. Best rapper alive. Yeah, that's, that's a goal. But that's a that's goal. Like what you that's, that's what I'm trying to get mm-hmm. you to get across. No, like, no, I'm saying, but my two year goal. That's my right. But that's also a goal to be the best. Hundred percent. You gotta say that. Let them niggas yeah. know, cause so they can see it and hear it. So then, when we come back two years, like, damn, he said it. Yeah, that's real. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm. That's what I'm getting you, you pushing it out like, for the world to see. Yeah, that's put, a fact. Put that but out. But is you pushing that when y'all go in the studio? Is you the best in there? Absolutely. Like anytime. Like when I first uh, signed the boat, <laughs> I don't care if I didn't even like the beat. I, I'm gonna get on the beat and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to you know get my hundred percent every time because it was just practice at the end of the day. Like even if I didn't like this beat, like I'll listen to the verse after I'm done. But I was actually sound kind of fire. So at the end of the day, like everything is uh is practice. So yeah, I definitely uh practice what I preach in that in that aspect. Absolutely. Mm. Now now Cam, uh, I want to know like in this you know in the concrete boys, what part do you play? I, and, I, and the reason I'm asking you that because everybody got a part that they play in the team. Speaking to Gil, the mic, I know Gil, you want a rapper. Me and Gil, me and Gil got a. Uh, <laughs> me and Gil got. We got different some parts. Some sexy sheets over yo. <laughs> 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 what are you doing, man? Me and, Gil, me and Gil got a. Uh, me and Gil got different parts against you. No Diddy, man. No. Me and Gil. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh God. <laughs> God. Me and Gil. Oh, but yo, we gonna get into that Arkell shit too. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I tell you, we gonna get in that Kelly yeah, shit. Parties is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and, by the way, by the way, them Jordans is ten thousand. Oh the yeah, way. by the way, sorry, I'm not changing the subject. We talking about them Jordans? By the way, that baby, them Jordans about ten thousand. We talking about ten thousand? That's a real photo. That was a real photo. It was. That was a real photo. Nah, your head looked a little too small. That's how I knew it was fake. It didn't look like it was that. And Gilly looked geeked up. Yeah, he was in that too. He was like. Was it Terry Crews white chicks when he was in the club <laughs> dancing? Nah. <laughs> he was rooted. No, nah, I'm gonna say he this. Out of it. I, I know y'all y'all know these is y'all handling the mic, so you keep banging it, you know, <laughs> on your purple jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking make it noise. <laughs> you know, he oh, want to keep rubbing God. on his purple jacket. My man over there, he keep doing like this for no reason. <laughs> I'm like, my nigga. <laughs> you know you got the microphone in your hand. But uh, and then he he wanted to keep taking shots at me because he was talking shit and a seed popped in his weed. <laughs> <laughs> he weeded up. Yeah, he was talking. He was talking hella shit about weed and a grenade went off while he was like this. Because <laughs> <laughs> I spent the extra ten dollars on pop and grabber, my brand. Say that again. Pop and grabber. Yeah, you ain't, he ain't heard of that. Don't worry about it. Oh no, so your weed pop. Hey, ice you. So your weed pop. You didn't even know that. Yeah, I ain't know that. I don't want no weed that pops. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch, you look like you smoke any. Mitch, you look like you smoke any weed. You said that already, bro. You said that already. No, any weed that's available looks like you smoke. <laughs> <laughs> like it ain't even gotta be like it can be from anybody, anywhere. Oh yeah, let me get some. Like, you just smoke any. That's your name, any weed. Bro, y'all, <laughs> any y'all weed. came in here with weed and a Ziploc bag. Nah. Well, we know Atlanta good for Dookie and designer nah. bags. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta is known for that. It's, it's finesse culture. For yes. sure. Motherfucker bro, bro, bring you some weed in a whole Christian Dior bag. You like, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Gotta get it off. I, I knew for Dior sure. didn't sanction they this shit. They saving the bag. Yeah. <laughs> they gonna put something else in. Presentation. 
This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. Now, uh, life ain't going your way. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. You caught your woman cheating today. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. You thought that check was coming and that check didn't come your way. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka is distilled five times. It's filtered three times for that clean, crisp finish. Uh, you know what you can drink it with. Straight up, on the rocks, juice, soda. Or you can just make a, new, a classic New Amsterdam mule. But that's up to you. But when you're out and about at your local liquor store, oh, wait, wait. make sure you get it to the counter. Boop. Boop. Get it home. And shout out to my wife because she be making cocktails at the crib with her girlfriends and all that. But you can do whatever you like. It's playoff time. It's great for pre-gaming. So, New Amsterdam Vodka, the official vodka of Barstool Sports. And a great friend of me and Osworth for game. New Amsterdam. Why would you choose any other vodka? Right. This episode of Me and Oz Worth a Game is brought to you by DraftKings, the best sports book around. Did you ever play the over-under game with your friends? You know, I think I can eat a slice of pizza in under 30 seconds, or I know it'll take you over a minute to down that two-liter. If you have, then you're going to love Pick 6, the new fantasy game from DraftKings, an official partner of the NBA. Here's how you play during the NBA playoffs. It's super simple. First, download the DraftKings Pick 6 app. Then pick between two and six players and choose if they will have more or less of a stat, like rebounds, points, assists, and more. Track your picks and play against others for a shot to win a huge cash prize. That's all there is to it. And for the first pick six players, check this out. New customers play five bucks and get 50 in pick six credit. So you play $5 and you get 50 extra dollars in pick six credits. Play pick six from DraftKings, the new fantasy app that packs more fun into less time. Download the new DraftKings pick six app now and use code Gilly. It's on the screen. I'm giving you a chance right now. Come on, whip your phones out, download, use code Gilly. You hear me? New customers play five bucks and get 50 and pick six credits. That's code Gilly on DraftKings. Pick six, the crown is yours. Right. So, Draft, what's your hardest song on the album? Hardest song? Dialed in, I think, just me and Camo. Like, mm -hmm. We were just on, it was just like a, a regular studio session, you know, but it just came up. We just went some back and forth shit. Like, we just got in that bag. We're like, we doing shit that I feel like no one is doing right now where it's just different. Like, it's really people, dumb random. It's yeah. Really random studio session. It was just like in the studio session another day. But I feel like that song just sticks out because I don't know. I feel like people are going to art. Like, I, I feel like certain songs where, like, where we're just experimenting, trying new shit. I know people are going to gravitate to it, maybe not right then and there, but like they're going to come back and then use that into their own sense of shit. Like, I just be like, okay, I know people are going to use this and just go off of that. By the fact that he want to be the best rapper alive, when y'all in the studio, do you be like, I'm going to shit on this nigga? I think we all kind of. We do. We do. Uh, even say, uh, yeah. even, uh, it just depends on the beat or what it is. Okay. Like, can't wait to say, can't yeah. wait to say we got. It just depends like, who vibe it is. It just that when you yeah. catch Sometimes. that mode, you we get in there. Like, no, though. Like, a nigga gonna come out and be like, man, that was an asshole. Every time we come in. You know, like, yo, you're not fucking with me. Exactly. They gonna say it every time. Somebody is the best, though. Cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It just depends on that song. Like, hey, somebody's always gonna have that one up. Like, okay, yeah, they did what they were supposed somebody to. Somebody gonna be the best. It, it, be like, it has to be like that. I feel like me and Boat be going, be going. It, 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 me and Boat be goddamn lyric wise. Yeah, as bars. Far as, uh, yeah, bar bars, wise for sure. Yeah. So crazy. As niggas really put, don't even know how much, how deep niggas care about this rap shit. Like, nah, for sure. 
this these lyrics and shit like but they see that the surface level because i make all kind of music you know so i go rock and then sing then do this and that but bro, i care about these bars too Come straight back yeah, if you say dude. mumbling yeah, if you say God. anything about mumbling like you don't you don't fuck with it yeah it's just it's like, you know when you man, listen you together say anything a song, you know camo and draft mumbling. put together a song so well care they, they really we good all fit with each other even if it's just us like one one two people everybody like we try to make sure that we doing we're not just doing okay. Every song we all have to get on it. Like right. it's not like that. Like we just trying to see. What we you can can't, go, you know, like you can't, you can't write this off as like mumbling though, cause like, like we really care. Like we take this shit serious. We're like, not just saying whatever. Like at the end of the day, we, we had just breaks in, in songs. We had in switches. We. But how like, do you even serious see, when it how, comes do you to even see, how, you, how, how do you even see how do you even see how do you how do you even see those who say that they they invisible. Well, Who is nah, ain't nobody invisible. Ain't invisible. Yeah, nah, it ain't visible. It. It's, it's, it's an sense. audience. It's, it's definitely people giving their opinions on what yeah, they're saying. Like, when I say invisible, I'm saying like, when you say man is us, that mean we we don't we don't see none of you. Yeah, no, nah, for right. sure. Nah, That's what right. I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah. Like, it's us. Like, it's like, just a reminder. Like, yeah, nigga, like hey, bro. That. Yeah, it's like, we it's them. It's the boy. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? So it just be like, it come to a time where it's though. Uh. Deion Sanders said something real important on the show. He said, nowadays, anybody can say something about a somebody. Mm. That's like, people too. don't really have shit going on. Like, and I think celebrities need to get back to celebrities. And when celebrities versus celebrities, none of that shit fading. Maybe in their own world. It'd be protected by, I really done something in life. Your opinion don't fucking matter. Sometimes it, 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 it can become personal with some people because people feel as though, if a person got a legitimate platform and he's saying some wild shit about him, then you might you might buck back like, hold up, fuck is you talking about? But it's like people is now, you got real live celebrities arguing with people that ain't got shit going on. Exactly. It's social media though, it's a place we are gonna meet up. We are yeah. gonna look at it. That's what runs that, the world. Social so. media is the one place you gonna catch everybody. We all there. Yeah. All yeah. The time. Everybody got it. Like, that's the thing about it, though. Like back in the day, they didn't have that shit. That's where that slow that line. From, that's that where that anybody, line be come from. That's like, that. That's that. Social media and nigga, it ain't that hard. It ain't expensive to go buy one of these and go get your camera and then think your opinion is just the most valid. Right. You know. You know, some of the greatest compliments in life is hating on another nigga on the internet. That's no. Most definitely that's crazy. Then but like now how Love Twitter that. how Twitter set up, you kinda get paid to hate too. So nah, like, you definitely getting paid to hate. So like as soon as your music drop, a nigga's ready to go viral, like say some fact. viral shit. Like he as probably don't even respond, mean it. But she he yeah, probably gonna get fourteen dollars. He just know you're gonna, so gonna make some he's gonna make something off. Same that follow you. Same thing that you sensitive, that, but you this like, bro. Clickbait yeah. is crazy. Same nigga that's been getting one of the biggest eyes in the world. Same thing that I think I want him want me. I saw I think like between like me and like Drake, it's like it's just almost like it's better to hate. You know, like I'm gonna get more engagements. I'm going Y'all like haters is your marketing team. Let them work type shit. But That's I know it's easier said than done to look at it that way. Mm-hmm. You know, you gotta be a stone cold nigga to sit and just like people just talking shit about you all day who don't know you. That's you know what? Yeah. Well, I'm a stone cold. I'm a stone cold. <laughs> I'm a, yeah, me too. You I ain't never respond. Because you never respond nobody. Because because you know why? I never Once in a while I check it. I don't. I right. just gotta be. <laughs> hey. I'm saying, I'm saying, hey, that's how it be though. Yeah, but, but, they go, if they crossing that line, you gotta be like, all right, wait, hold on now. But the niggas I check, they be on a certain level. Yeah. Oh, okay. I ain't worrying about Johnny Not Donut me. in the comments, yeah, man. I'm, Already. I'm nah, for sure. That's certain. Yeah, I, I might get right with. Um, I can't. How, I hate when people Marcus make. Hudson, I hate when people make these niggas opinions matter too much. I feel like I hate when other people make their opinion matter too much. When it's some shit that a nigga really don't know what he's talking about, but y'all really. Y'all all standing behind this and making it seem like he's, his opinion matter or he know what he's talking about. Like for me, it'll be a it'll be a grown ass man in the comments hating, and my daughter live better than you. Yeah. You can't. You really can't. But, but what we talking about, yeah, man? Nothing. It ain't really nothing to talk about. What? God, nigga, what? My, my daughter got bigger earrings than most of these rappers. I swear to God. So, mm-hmm. for me, it's like I ain't I ain't tripping, bro. Keep hating, man. I'm going to wake up tomorrow, God willing. Hopefully it's sunny out. I'm going to pick one of my motherfucking seven cars to drive. Mm-hmm. And I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't stressing on nothing. What we talking about, man? You f*** around, got to catch an Uber to work, man. So I ain't tripping. Mm-hmm. Y- you keep hating. A part of why you hating is because you ain't satisfied with the 
that you look in the mirror and see, mm -hmm. looking back shit. at you. A lot of niggas ain't, when they look in that mirror, that's a cold reality. They man. hating because ain't no money in their savings. Yeah. I think Biggie said being broke at 30 giving the chills. Imagine being broke at 40. But not just that. Like for me, I always I always be like, we ain't the same. You ain't doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, like, so your opinion on the matter in the world, I'm really out here really working. I'm really out here doing something. And I'm the type of dude that I, I never talk down on nobody. I ain't got to. Mm -hmm. Like I'm doing in real life. Like really helping people, really making moves, and it's like, that's just that part. Then the other part of, I don't see you at the bank. I don't see you at the Lamborghini dealer. Fact, they never in the bank. They never in the bank. So we ain't got like it's for, separation. Listen, listen, listen. They, they get me. You can pay me to respond to any of you dudes, mm -hmm. cause we not on the same level, and I'm not gonna have the people or you even believe that by me even having a convo with you on social but let media. Let me ask you, when you first thing. when you first got home and got into back on social media, did yeah. it ever bother you? Never, because listen, Gil, Gil would tell you, Gil was one of the dudes, uh, you know, people call Gil all the time, hey, what's up with Cuz, man, he tripping. He running down the street in the rain, that nigga, that nigga tripping, right? I'll be like, and boot, I'll be like, we'll be in the crib laughing, right? Because cause me and him, me and him is like, you know, outside of being Cuz, we like comedy brothers. We think anything funny. Right. So even if you did roast me, now if you said some shit funny legitimately, We'd be dying about yo. He killed me like he keep barbecued you. He killed you. Nah, we was, yeah. Let me ask you though. Yeah. Like funny shit. This on some real shit. Like you ever when you like first got back in the podcast now. Um, you ever like shit bothers you? Like in the comments and shit. Like just shit, like this shit ain't even true. Y'all know this ain't true. No, you know what bother me? What bother me is when niggas give a voice to niggas that. That's what I, that's what I just said. Shit. You know yeah, what I'm opinion. saying? Mm -hmm. With their opinion. You know, you got a you got a bunch but the reality of it is I gotta understand that, right? You got way more lame ass niggas out here than you got real ones. On the internet. Oh, shit. Like the, the yeah. real niggas is in real time. They fuck they listen to you. I tell people this all the time. Only lame niggas got time to go on the internet and hate. Mm -hmm. The real niggas in like they real. listening, they watching your shit. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. That's literally it. And really, going after to, to, to engage, to comment, to actually go to type them on the and hit send. Mm -hmm. I never had the time and really thought to do that. <laughs> 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 At all. Like that's never a thought. It's not even a thought. I like this song. Okay, that would keep it to myself. Like, what type of mood was you in to do like, this? Like, to really sit there and type this out? That's kind of insane. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to understand, I'm really like laying back, chilling with a beautiful woman. Watching something somewhere out eating. Talking to Mike, man. Somewhere shopping. We watching something. We we out here, we, we we doing stuff in real time. You think I got time to be worrying about what somebody else doing? I really won out this joint. Not for sure. Mm -hmm. right. Like in the Not history of life, I won. I'm going in the books. Yeah. When I expire. Mm -hmm. Fast. So so a lot of times you gotta we gotta be considerate that the internet hurt a lot of people's feelings because what I it do, do is expose people. Because if 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 Camel from down my neighborhood, right? And Camel went to jail or Camel did whatever, his life wasn't right, and he get it right, a lot of times. Everybody else is after his dreams or sitting around bullshitting. They got to hear their girl or their family was like, you bullshit. You see Camo? He did it. Why you ain't do it? Because we always comparing things in the hood a lot of times or in the black culture. Oh, that so makes so now that's making dudes sick. Yeah. It's like, fuck, you keep talking about this dude. My woman yeah. keeps screaming about him. You make you a bat you because you can embarrass a lot of people. You see what I'm saying? So it just be like a lot of people can't handle that. And everybody don't know they lame because... It made we we live in a world where it made everybody think that they could do what you do. They think what you do is so easy. What both do is so easy. What he do is so easy. Yeah, that's true. Listen, you wasn't talented to be Michael it, Jordan. Yeah. Exactly. That's just yeah. not God ain't make it that way. But but the the, the illusion of social media, they only showing X Y Z. Yeah. They not selling A B C. They don't mm -hmm. sell everything you had to go through to become you. Yeah. So at a lot of times we got this thing where it's though everybody think they can. And, and, and I'm not saying that everybody think they can have a podcast. Everybody think they can be a rapper. It's like, and, and it came in and, and our coach is like, nigga, where the doctors at, man? Who need we need some doctors. Yeah. We need some more lawyers. We need some more uh executive assistants. We need some more managers. We need some more people in sports medicine. But that's why I fuck with. We need with, more chemists. That's why I fuck with. Like, I'm my bad, not cut you off, but that's why I fuck with Blick, Vic Bland so no, much. No, that's why you fuck with them biscuits. Yeah, now he's the best. He's the best of the all time. What is it? Is it? it? I don't lie. You want to try one? What are they? Try one. Honey butter. Honey butter. Cool. You want to try one? 
Honey butter. Honey butter. It's hot and soft. Soft, man. Y'all not on duty, man. Yeah, I'm hot. Like yeah, 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 he went into it with hate in his heart. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he he had, he on he God, he did. He, he came into why. it with hate. He already yeah. didn't like, like it. He acted like a kid. No, I thought that joint was going to be hot, man. I mean, I we got a mic. At one point in time, boy. Yeah, but you eating them cold now. It's still, but still, it's still, it's fourth one. That's crazy. I thought they it's had just some bread. You know, it's just one. a biscuit with butter. Like some Chinese food or something to bring it in here. They bring all biscuits. Nigga, boy. <laughs> 20 biscuits? Yeah, motherfucker ordered 40 biscuits. What's <laughs> 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 it? Bring me 40 butter rolls. <laughs> what? Yeah. Go crazy, too. You know, you know what's crazy? They go crazy. You know what's crazy? Uh, but like you said, Vic Blends, he do his thing, cut his hair, what's his name? But you know what? I, you know the craziest thing? In the history of life, how many haters you ever seen win? I'm never. never I never, never seen them. I, I never seen no haters win. And I never seen no successful people hate. <laughs> so you can't. You even know why? I don't know. Because that's true. because what? What? You don't know but, what's true. Oh no, that's cap. He said he never seen no successful people. Yeah, hate. they that's, hate. That's successful that's people do hate. Successful people hate. Successful people definitely hate. Ain't no rich nigga ever hated on. Not on you. He's not saying. He's saying in general. He's talking about the aspect of it. He's saying rich niggas do hate though. Some niggas. Successful people definitely hate. Some niggas hate. Some niggas hate. Some niggas hate. Yeah, it come with it. It's a balance. Everybody hates at some point. Everybody's gonna hate. Successful nigga got two. He don't got enough time on his hands. No, no, you don't see that. You're not gonna see. You don't see. They gotta show the internet. But in his circle, nigga can say some like. Niggas who ain't really. We're in the music industry, right? Let's be real. Let's be real. We in the music industry. There's a lot of successful niggas that's successful, but they will hate you because you got confidence. They'll hate you because mm -hmm. these broads, you getting at these women. 90% mm -hmm. of the problems in the rap yeah. game is because of broads. That's the because most of a dude, it. Because a dude might have some Mac about him, some player about him. He might have some confidence about him. Rather, he got jury on or nothing. He's still that nigga. And yep. dudes will hate you in that rap game about that shit. Not real shit. Yeah. They will hate you. First of all, 97.9% .9 of the beef in the rap game is about a bitch. Always. Yeah, that's a fact. Always. Like, let's be for real. That's a fact. 90... 78% of, of, of beef in the motherfucking ghettos be about a bitch. They just act like it ain't started about a bitch. Yep. Niggas getting killed. Well, be wards about, it be wards about you because your baby mom He was found out strong. a nigga fucked him with his bitch. He go right to the crew. Niggas hating on us. Talk about they, what they going to do to us. Man, them niggas ain't going to do No, he robbers. fucked your bitch, bro. Right. Them niggas wasn't hating. He honey glazed your bitch like the motherfucking uh, biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Real though. No cap. And, and then and then the funny thing is like you we, see rappers they get money together and to to a to a rapper nigga like damn dog I see you with different bitches hey ever every time we we pop up you got different bitches with you man mm -hmm. so when I caught this when I caught the bitch I seen with you in motherfucking Missouri that night when I caught her in Atlanta I didn't really think you had feelings for yeah. the bitch because every time I see you you with a different, different bitch. bitch. Real shit. He yeah. let out. He let out. About so I, I I had the bitch that night. I pistol whipped her. I mm. might even <laughs> told you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I might even told you. Remember the little bitch you had in Missouri? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And all the bitch had the pigtails <laughs> yeah, that yeah. night. <laughs> the bitch with the pigtails and the, the, the bust down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that man, bitch. I got it too, that. <laughs> yeah, I fucked the level off her last night. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't never know that was going to turn into a diss record. <laughs> <laughs> no, now you said it. He's like, you didn't know? No, you didn't know. No, but he couldn't, because he said it with a different girl every other night, so that's why he thinking that. I thought you was going to be like, nigga, that pussy good, my nigga. Thought they was going to compare, stop comparing it, huh? I like, you got that too? Okay, cool. I think that's Everybody ain't real like that. Nah, nah, yeah, nah. Everybody ain't real. As you get older, you realize everybody ain't a real nigga. And it's unfortunate because you want damn you didn't there benefit the doubt on certain people like you just oh nah he can't he wouldn't have did that mm -hmm. yeah like you he wouldn't have pillow talked it. on me it ain't easy to be a real nigga, See, you gotta nigga. Go out your way. oh how many times this shit happened to you nigga oh too many times because I, too many women done told me about niggas hanging on me and studio sessions and all kind of shit I didn't heard mm -hmm. shit let me just say this a PSA if you will pillow talk with a woman about another nigga while you laying in bed ass naked. Mm -hmm. That's you, insane.
Pass, pass me that butter right there. You gonna say? You gonna tell on somebody? <laughs> so, or like McDonald's. Is it just don't do it? Do whatever cold stop for you though. Know? It's gonna oh, be cold. Do whatever stop. Gonna tell. Do whatever stop. Not as long as you popping. Damn. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't got no. But was it ever a time when you heard something from somebody that you? You, you, you respected as somebody that you like, and you was like, damn, that nigga said that about me. Yep. I haven't. No, because I just, I think, like, like I just think it's like, I, I always, in my head, I'm always don't think I'm that nigga. Mm-hmm. You got to. That's, uh, especially mm-hmm. in this game, like, in, in rap, but you got to, you got to, you got to think you're the best. You got to mm-hmm. be confident. So, like, and honestly, a lot of niggas just don't have that confidence. So, that shit don't bother me because I know. Knowing that nigga, like even when people say shit about me now, bro, people don't know I'm behind doors. They don't know what I'm really putting together. Nah, man, this shit the life of the game, bro. Hate come with yeah. winning, yeah, success. Mm-hmm. LeBron hated it every day, every he day. Never play basketball. Yeah, but he he old as shit. Some niggas be hating, you know. And I think he still come out prove every season. He come out and remind remind you he that nigga. Still, niggas hate. That shit just is what it is. Because it's so you, crazy. You could be a good nigga. Like, if you're a good nigga, you preach nothing but positivity. Folks probably still hate. Oh, no, yeah. what? Yeah. Oh, they hate that nigga. Yeah, people hate. And nigga ain't doing nothing but trying to preach the, <laughs> the right word, the good word. Literally, yeah. Why the fuck is he so, why so why happy? Why are you in the rain everything? doing it? Why the fuck he so <laughs> happy? Like, <laughs> like, uh, hey, let me tell you something. They hate on him, trust me. That nigga's hated. And that's crazy. Uh, don't, you, don't, you, don't you put that old motherfucker Wallo Luther yeah. King like that. That nigga, all he want to do is preach the good word <laughs> you, and man. fuck your good yeah. bird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Man, I don't know. Shit. I ain't gonna lie, the way you was celebrating the basketball videos, I yeah, know you hate it too. I would yeah. hate you the way you were celebrating up and down there. Oh, yeah, nigga, did you see how he was shit. celebrating up the court that doing Naruto doing runs up and down no, the court? That nigga laid down. That's the type of nigga you got to fight as soon as you get to Found him. They were like, found him. Found him. Found him. They were called Draymond. For real. I want a nigga that hate me. That nigga became a plane on the court. Because, nigga, you don't like yourself, nigga. Shoot and put his hands behind his back. Like, what? I don't give a fuck. I really believe that, though. Niggas hate when they don't like themselves. You don't like yourself, for sure. Real talk. Don't. Yeah. You don't like yourself. I never, I never, like, Oh, I just no. It's just I do hate one nigga though. I ain't gonna... <laughs> <laughs> because he's just a clout chasing, yeah. d- clout demon. Like he's just one clout so fucking bad, and it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous when you see niggas that wasn't known is not known for nothing, man. Mm-hmm. But talking shit about niggas that's known. Welcome to another episode of Million Dollars where we gain business spotlight. Yes. Where we give you the news you can use. We give you the information to take you to another level. Mm-hmm. You know, it's play it's people like Gil that used to be a basement warrior that looked at million dollars worth of game business spotlight and a life change mm-hmm. in an instant. All they did was text a number. They got some information. They got a free ebook. They got a free course. And a lot of people, I run into a lot of people that be like, yo, man, I ain't even spend no money. I ain't even buy the course. I just got the information and I dashed and I was on. You know, you had different people that came over here that gave out a bunch of free information. Today we got somebody that's coming with more free information. And Listen. the best part about this is when we bump into people in traffic and they like, yo, man, I seen him. I seen Neo. I seen Alex. I seen this person. I seen Trapper. I seen, man, yeah, I'm doing the same thing. I'm getting money now, man. I upgraded. That's what make us feel the best out here that we actually helping people help people. And we provide the information that you need, man. Today, yes. we got Vonza on here. One thing about Vonza, let me give you the game. Mm. Before we even get any further, what I need you to do, I need you to text 413-372. One. 713-372. 713-372 to 770-464-6551. 770-464-6551. And what you need to text once again, because I'm telling you, you don't want to miss this. 41372. Right now, you're going to get a free ebook mm. and you're going to get a free masterclass. And let mm-hmm. me tell you something about Vons and what they got going on. Now, big shit. <laughs> say, you're a, say you're a barber. You mm-hmm. do your thing, you're not a cut. I used to be a barber too back in the day. He I used to do bald heads. I used to just, just do bald heads. Shit out of him, got him out of there. Say if you're a barber, say if you do nails, say if you, uh, you paint cars, whatever you do. And you say, damn, you know what? I want to teach people. I want to teach a bunch of people all at once. You can stay right there in your shop. 
You can stay right there in your barbershop. You can stay right there in your office and do graphics. Whatever you got going on, you can stay right there and do it. Because what Vonda did, mm. they brung everything in one. They created a software that put everything in one. And guess everything. what? You can use this software for free, but I'm going to tell you something first. They created everything. They put everything in one. You got a paywall, but you mm. can charge people. You also got, you could give courses. You could do master classes. Whatever you want to do, you could do. E-book, but um, They put everything in one. And guess what? You can use it for free, but if you use it for free, I'm going to tell you, they just want 10 po- 10% of everything you sell. That ain't, that ain't bad if you're going to use it for free because right. guess what? You're not spending no money and you like... Well, and ain't the best part about it is you only got to do it one time. And guess what? It's like OPM. Think about it. It's other people's money because you, you're using yeah. their money basically because it's their platform and if you, you make money, you cut them in. If you don't, so what? You keep it moving. Right. But that's the, and the that's best the part point about it. it is you only got to record the video one time. Right? One time. Yeah, and it's not just a video. You got a video, the ebook, whatever right. type of literature that you got going on there. You put it in this one software but guess what? If you want to keep all your money and you believe in what you got going on, you give them $99 mm. a month and you keep everything. Mm. I don't care if you make a million dollars. I don't care if you make 500000 mm. I don't care if you make $2 million, $3 million, mm. or you make 75000 mm. You don't got to give them nothing if you give them $99 a month. But I need you to tell me, right, what made you come up with this idea, man? What made you come up with this, brother? So thank you. So I came to America. I came from America to, I came from Nigeria to America with just $100 and a suitcase of clothes. And then going through tough time, you know, I started coaching and teaching people. I learned how to do tax reparation. I started teaching people. Then I saw that it was not effective trying to teach every single person in my neighborhood how to do tax business. So I created an online course to teach them how to do that. But then do, trying to run my business online, I get overwhelmed with needing so many platforms to do it. I need my courses on Kajabi, my website template, and all these integrations, and everything was breaking. So I feel like it would be easier to just put everything that a coach or a crypto or a digital creator need in one place. So that's why I created Vonza to make it simple and easy for anybody with an idea or a knowledge or an expertise to take that knowledge and teach it in an online course or coaching program and make money online. So Vonza just puts all the tools in one place that you need from your website, your payments, your email, your marketing, your phone, your SMS, 12 tools in one. And the best part is that you can do it and use it totally free, right? And then once you make money, you pay us 10% commission. If you don't make money, use it free forever. But if you don't like to do that, you just want to like own your thing and keep 100% commission, 100% of what you make, then you just do one of our paid plans that starts at only $99 a month. Now, now, one thing I like about you, but you got to go on. That's a hustler well, motherfucker, man. Yeah, Vonza. They came here with $100 and yeah. some jeans, and man. Yeah. He was clothes. a BMF. You're a BMF. You're a bad motherfucker. But I'm going to say this. <laughs> the software, what makes this software so great is that it's a one-stop shop. shop. Just imagine, when you, when you get up, you go online, you go to Amazon, you can buy some drawers in, you can buy some groceries. You can buy a computer. You, should, you can buy whatever you want on there. You can buy some, uh, a TV. Whatever you want, you can buy on there. This is a one-stop shop for people that's trying to be educators. I'm talking about people that know how to educate people and they're willing to put the time in. And guess what? All you got to do is sit there, put the time in, come up with the, the literature or whatever. You can write it out, type it out. You got that. Then you do a video on your phone. You can upload everything into the software, and you out of here. But before we even get further, you got to understand, they're giving you a free ebook, mm. and they're also going to give you a free master class to mm. tell you how to do everything that you need to do mm. with inside of the software. All you got to do is text 41372, 41372, to 770-464-6551. That's you see all you got to do. Screen. That's all you got to do. Now, tell us more, man. Tell us more about this stuff. It's, you know, like once again, I take my iPhone, I set it up on a tripod. Yeah. Right. I cut somebody here. And mm-hmm. I'm telling people the different techniques, how to put lines in it. Because see, he used to like the lines in his name and all this stuff, the glitter up here. He used to have the shag in the back. He had a different style. So if I'm doing this here, and I'm doing it, and I got the and I got the the, the, the tripod up, and I've got it on the phone, I'm doing my one too. All I gotta do is take that, upload it to the to, to Vonza. You create a free account, then upload it to Vonza. Then once you, once you do that, then, then Vonza creates your website for you, then you share that link to your people. That's what you got to do. Vonza takes care of everything else, your payment, your processing, the delivery to your students, everything Vonza does it for you. Because you got to think about it. Like if I'm doing nails, right, mm. I'm doing nails in ATL, and my girl is in Texas or California, I can't get to her. Right. If I'm working in the shop and I'm booked and busy. So all I have to do is create the course. I can show you how to do your dip powder. I can show you how to do your design and all of that in a video. Then you buy it. Now you have the information forever. You can take care of yourself. I don't have to fly out to you. Right. I mean, unless you want to. See, see. But so yeah. You, so you know something, because when he go to the nail shop, he he get a dip powder. He like yes. to dip powder on his nails. That clear stuff. color, right? Yeah, the that's clear. what I'm saying. Okay. So he, you know what I mean? But you that. know something. You was you was doing this. <laughs> she gonna have a nail course on Vonza. Now, that's that's so important. So 
One thing I like about it, you saying I could just sit in the house. I ain't gotta never gotta leave home. Yeah. And anything I know, I can know. I can know graphic designs. Exactly. I can know anything. How to make rugs. How to do clothing lines. Uh, cooking class. Yeah. And and well, and. Go ahead. Well, listen, Walla, I, Listen, I know you from my phone. Yes. From Instagram, <clears throat> all the videos that used to come up. You're a master at creating content and mm -hmm. owning your lane and owning your space. That's something a lot of people, they don't know how to get past themselves. They yeah. don't know how, which is why coaching is so important. And we offer that coaching so that people can get past themselves and get that knowledge out of them and put it out there so other people can take advantage of it as well. But you didn't have that problem. So you were just creating content, creating content, creating content. But there's a mindset that comes with that. And a lot of people don't know it. So now we have the coaching so that we can get that knowledge out of you and you can give it to the world. And then we have the platform so you can put it on there and let people get it easy, one and done. Yeah, and the coaching industry is right now $350 billion, mm -hmm. right? Because a lot of people need help to get from point A to point B, but they don't know how to do that. So that's why I created the software to help them to do that, but also to the coaching program, which we're gonna be giving them the ebook, showing them the whole game from going from A to Z mm -hmm. to becoming successful online. And people say, okay, can I make money online? I'm like, yeah, you can, because I came to America with just $100 and a suitcase of clothes, and I have an accent, and today I've you know, built an eight-figure business just by honing on on one specialized knowledge and teaching people how to do that and helping them to you know, get results in their life. And anybody can do this. One thing I love to about the coaching game and digital pros is this. You don't need to, be, you don't need to have a good credit score. You don't need a lot of money to start. And one of the things we teach our students is that a lot of people started from zero like us is that you can build a $50,000 a month coaching program with just organic, right? Just by posting some sexy content on, on social media, telling your story, right? And really helping people to solve whatever situation or problem they need in their life or their personal business, right? So that's what we do. So it's really, really easy for anybody today to make money online just by knowing something. And it doesn't have to be deep. You don't need to have a college education. You don't need to be some dope person. Can right, because he make money online and he, he graduated from the you, you see what state pen. Exactly. Penn state. Can, do you, can you take somebody from point A to point B? Or maybe you have a story on expertise or something you've overcome. Let me tell you a quick story of one of my students. You know, She used to be an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. And so she got drunk and all of all this stuff, right? And then when she learned how to overcome it without going through AAA, she created a course, right? She did. I helped her to make a million dollars in a day by teaching people how to overcome alcohol addiction. So there are a lot of people out there watching that have overcome something, but mm -hmm. they think that it's not valuable. But it's valuable because you have overcome something right. that a lot of people are still stuck in. Mm -hmm. So instead of just having a happy hour with your friends, why don't you take that knowledge, that experience, that story, that expertise, and turn it into an online course and coaching program to help other people come out from where you were. So, but now a lot of people don't know how to do that. That's why we're giving them this free ebook and masterclass to help them become the new rich, which is those who are pretty much selling their knowledge online. And you know, again, it's so easy to do. Don't worry about your credit score. You don't need, you know, you don't need business funding to start a coaching program because a coaching program is something you already know. Is is a knowledge, an experience, an expertise. You don't need something to buy it. It's something that is already inside of you. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't know how to do it. So we're helping them in the ebook and the master class we're giving out for free. And what's inside of that ebook, man? How many pages? What's inside of there? It's about 40 pages and it's very colorful and it's the whole game. We give them the whole game because we believe that when you give something good for free, God just gives it back to you. I, mm -hmm. I believe that as well. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Now, now the whole thing is about this. Once again, what I need you to do is I need you to text. 41372, 41372 to 770-464-6551. And what you're going to do is you're going to get a free ebook, you're going to get a free master class, and guess what? Bonds of the software, you could put, every, I'm talking about this is a one-stop shop for teachers, people that want to educate people, people that, you want to educate people and make money, everything there. They got the paywall, they got everything there. They can receive payments. I'm talking about they can send it anywhere. All you got to do is take that link. Once no, you all you got to do is hustle. Yeah, hustle mm -hmm. too. And once you take that link, you will put it in whatever your social media, whatever, attach it there. You can send it to people, text it to everybody on your phone, whatever. People buy your stuff to get it. If they, you got the freedom, you just get 10% up. That is not, you get $100, you get them $10.
you get them, you know, you get a million dollars, you give them hundred hundred thousand. So it, it's like it's worth it because you're on a platform for free. They used all their money to create it, mm-hmm. and they got a space for you to operate your whole enterprise within there. And you don't have no excuses yeah, because and, if you ain't got no money, you can still use the platform. <laughs> if you got money, you can still use the platform. So it's, it's no excuses involved in this shit. It's all about if you want to willing to put the work in, and if you want to hustle, if you want to change your life, mm-hmm. if you want to make something out of your fucking life, or do you want to keep Sleeping in your mama's basement, being a basement warrior. And if you feel or good. sleeping in the middle room, being a middle room warrior. Mm-hmm. And if you waiting for your mama to die so you can move your shit from the basement to the front room. And the whole thing about it, like get you, on your job. If you feel good about this man and you know that you're gonna be killing him, you know you're gonna be a cash cow or whatever you're gonna make, give him that ninety nine dollars so you can stay out of my business. I'm gonna give you this ninety nine dollars so you can stay out of my pocket, get your hands out of my pocket. See, that's the whole get your hand out of my pocket method. And they got other plans that's higher than that for whatever else you're going to get. But at the end of the day, it's like, you mean to tell me I can use this for free 99? Mm. Free 99, I can use this? Take advantage of this, man. But before we get out of here, what's the information y'all want to give people just about y'all coaching people and helping people change their lives in the Vonza software? What, what, what more game y'all want to give out? The t- fact is everybody has something to give to the world. You just have to be willing to get it out of you. So anybody that's overcome anything, you have something to say. You can share with somebody else how you did it. And that's really all it takes to create a coaching program. Once you know how to do that, you record yourself on your video. You can put a PDF together, you know, and then you put it up on Vonza. Once you have it on Vonza, now you just create content on social. That's free. It's already free, so you might as well use it, pointing and directing people over to the content that you have and you've created. Then you go ahead and you monetize it. It's very a very, very simple process. And it's really just about, just like you were saying, you're like get off your mama couch and do something with what you got. You know something. Let other people take advantage of it. Me personally, I want to know a lot more than what I already have. So I got to connect with people. And if I can connect with somebody that can get me over a, a obstacle quicker, I'm going to connect. It's a done deal. That's what it's about. Once again, what y'all need to do right now, you need to text 41372, 41372 to 770-464-6551. I'm talking about, listen, man. This guy right here, he's good at making foot videos. If he want to put his foot videos on there, uh, him just showing you how, showing you how he shaved the hair. He shaved, he, shaved, he shaved the hair off his foot because he's a hell of a foot a foot masseuse. Yeah. He right. shaved hair off his foot and oiled him down. He can, you can sell it like, yeah, he can make a money. Yeah. So, do, 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 y'all too be fucking sitting there talking about, yeah, no, like she, this she shit don't, real. Like, you don't y'all do that like, shit. Yeah. He's a foot warrior. Yeah. And, and let me say something too. Vonza is not just something to sell digital products. You can also sell physical products too. In fact, yesterday I literally saw one of the platform on our site some guys somewhere selling a penis enlargement drugs on Vanza. Penis the larger. Oh, he need it. Wait, wait. No, he was about to so, take him to the so, surgery. So, it so it's not just only that. ebook. If you have a physical product, t shirt, whatever, penis Vonza enlargement is true, all in one platform. Damn, so these guys make a lot of money selling penis enlargement herbal medicine on Vonza. Mm, make so. sure you give him the link to that. <laughs> no, you need that, John. I'll try Bit to city all that. balls, no stem. That's just what the chick to told him. But listen, man, today we have Vonza on here. Listen, what you need to do before we get up out of here, you need to text 41372 right now to 770 464 6551. Listen, they're going to give you a free ebook and they're going to give you a free master class. If you use the software, you do. If you don't, but guess what? It's free. It's free 99. Or if you don't want him to give him 10%, you can say, you know what, I'm going to give you $99 you know, a month. But listen, today we have Bonds on here. This is another episode of Million Dollars Where We Game, been the spotlight, and it's just like that. Right! That's crazy. Yeah. That's so absurd. That's just absurd that people. And it's some niggas in the world who don't feel bad about it. Like, don't go make a story up or anything and don't give a fuck. Yeah, if he, he, a nigga can just go make some up. He just happy it's that he's analy- he analytics. He's happy his analytics. Yeah, he just see the yeah, numbers. He just want to get his likes. numbers up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so but it's his business. Yeah, I, I, I be thinking a lot of people do this do shit for the wrong reasons anyway. Like niggas ain't really like. I don't know how many. I ain't too many niggas that really got <clears throat> a clear vision of their future. You know, like no matter from niggas in their teens and niggas to their thirties and forties, a lot of these, a lot of people are lost. Yeah, they you know are. What I'm saying a lot of people are lost and a lot of people don't have a, a sense of direction in life. So, like, you either A, trying to copy somebody else, or B, nigga, you just hate on people who have direction, who got their things in order and got their shit on track. You're like, man, especially if it's somebody who know you, because they're like, man, I've been with that nigga before. Like, he changed, and he this, and he that. But it's just because nigga don't got his, all his eggs in his bucket. 
You go and try to knock down the next nigga. Mm-hmm. But you you gotta understand a lot of karma come with that. Fact. Mm-hmm. Well, hate it? I believe in karma. The, karma is right. Hate it, for hate sure. it karma? Because because no, karma but yeah, because let me just tell you something. How a nigga gonna work hard, right? Mind his motherfucking business, do everything right, put it, and you think you just going to come up off of that nigga by hating? Yeah, that's true. Like, you when you look at that point of view. You yeah. think, so, I, so, hold so, on, so hold on, wait, hold on. So, okay, Yachty popping. I'm going to do an interview, I'm hating on Yachty. Oh, I'm going to do my next interview, I'm hating on Jay-Z and Beyonce. Oh, I'm going to do my next video. video. You know how much negative shit that is, man? Yeah. This shit about energy, bro. Mm-hmm. This shit about good. And you you ever notice we could all be in here right now. We all got good energy. If a nigga walked in here right now, me and Walla wouldn't know him. It'd be one of y'all homies. And he came in here like this. First thing y'all niggas gonna do, like, yo, what's up, man? What's popping? No, fuck that. Like, everybody energy in the room gonna change now. Everybody yeah, was shit. just positive. Now niggas is like, what's alert, going on? Alert for the, all time. So this shit is about energy, bro. When you wake up every day and you hate on niggas, that's what your life is about. Then you got to hate on the next nigga, then hate on the next nigga, then hate on the next nigga. You think they ain't nothing going to come back on you behind that? Mm-hmm. Damn near instant, though, because you just, you don't got... Yeah, that, that what y'all saying, I get what y'all was saying when you were saying, like, successful people don't really hate. They do, but you don't really got... Time to hate on niggas for real. Like if you if you got time to hate on niggas, nah, you ain't gonna be fully successful. That hating, karma, damn here. especially Instant. online. That's why I ain't think it was karma because it ain't hate. coming down the line. There's no way you that successful. You gotta try to get online comment and keep commenting too. Right, commenting. that became your job. You, you gotta. Hate I, be sur- I always feel surprised when I hate that if bitches follow hating ass nigga. Yeah, I'm like but, I'm surprised these hoes even fuck no, with you. Like no. they see you dick sucking, hating. <laughs> but but that. That just I'm lets you know when a motherfucker say, listen. If a motherfucker say they they fuck with certain niggas, I know they miserable. Facts. If they say what? If they if, fuck certain niggas. If they fuck with certain niggas, if a motherfucker like yo, you know I fuck with I fuck with such and such. I'm like, tight shit. You a miserable nigga? Cause why would you fuck with a hating ass nigga like that? Anything. That funny. mean that mean you got a lot of fucking hater in you too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Should have joked to you. Think about that. Yeah. You relate to them type of niggas. Yeah. I can't relate to no nigga hating on no nigga, I man. I never did. At all. I never did. Because <laughs> I'm a nigga that want to salute you, nigga. Yeah. I don't want to shoot you. It's a difference. I don't want to I don't want to motherfucking compete with you. I want to eat with you. Yeah. It's a difference. Yeah. So sure. I don't I don't I could never oh, oh, nigga, you a hating ass nigga. Oh no, I had to get the fuck away yeah. from me. You, you know, right away. You, know, shit. Miguel, you forgetting you can go viral hating. Like that's, that's, that's I know a lot of niggas like, go viral like, hating like, every day, but that be the that be the highlight of their life. Yeah, that's right. It. Like, I just hot. It's a hot dog. I just told you earlier, some niggas highlights of their life is hating on another nigga. Right. Yeah, not real shit. Yo, you see the video I got hating on such and such. You know how crazy that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Think about that. that. Think about that. Yo, you see the video when I was talking about such. See, it's a difference with Cat Williams. Because in Cat Williams' interview, every nigga that he's talking about, he fucking knows. Mm-hmm. He had a relationship with. He was he, exposing. That one talking about. That one. But, well, what, whatever. But yeah, he yeah, knows like, the still knew that nigga. Person on a personal level. Whether he right. I wasn't hating him. Whether he right, wrong, hating, not hating. I'm not saying none of that. I'm saying he actually knew the people he was talking about. Yeah. You got niggas that never even been in the same room, ain't in the same stratosphere, ain't in the same, they bank accounts ain't one hundred thousandth of what a nigga got. And you talking about niggas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say this, though. Fuck the haters. Yeah. And, uh, I want to go to this. Concrete Boys. If I had to give an idea of who y'all are, what group from the past would y'all give people like a hint to who y'all are and the brand y'all building? Should I always say uh, Screwed Up Click? Okay. The SUC, because when I look at Screwed Up Click, you know, obviously besides, you know, Shout out to Houston. Of, yeah, any of the bullshit with the syrup or whatever. Mm-hmm. DJ know, they, Yeah, they was a, a solid group of uh, brothers uh, united for one, for one cause, and that was for the greater good. 
You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I definitely always. And I said woo. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, I was say woo too. I just because we got so many people that aren't even like the front of it who are in concrete as well, you know, that do just do different shit. Like yeah, yeah, from cool. clothes to fashion to way, way we dress, way the lingo, way how certain shit is where we have an influence. Who recline y'all cool? <laughs> I think that'd be DC. Okay, who was a. Uh, who method man? That's him. Who power? They ain't even know who power. Nah, nah, nah. Power get, I know it get deep. Man, who Kevin, Kevin don't know none of these names, by the way, even from what the first y'all one. Talking about? Ghostface yeah. is like <laughs> lucky. That's that's <laughs> New York. Yeah. Who RZA? Uh, crazy thing, I, I think I play. I, I definitely played at RZA. Yeah, because he 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 yeah. making sure he think that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If he RZA, what am I? You the Jizza. How the fuck am I? Man, you, oh, you got <laughs> Nigga, you swoo God, nigga. Nigga, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. That nigga Reggie Wu. Smoke Reggie. <laughs> Reggie. Reggie Wu is crazy. Reggie. Reggie. <laughs> That's Wu Reggie. Reggie Wu is crazy. When I'm in here slaving over these beats, man, y'all ain't finna play. How do y'all feel about sampling? We man, love, man. I, love I love it. I love it, it but love clear, it, you said, well, it. Oh, I need love. No, I'm saying so. Like, I feel like after this this whole tape we just did, you know, as far as all the samples, it, it makes me kind of want to take a step back from it, just because the process of getting everything cleared, oh, and it's God. just like people have to reach out to certain people, and they might just dub it. Just they, they only want their art co- like connected to it. So it's just like, damn, like, how was, how wait, was hold on, he was the one I sampled. I need love. Yeah. I should have knew it. <laughs> wait, wait, I want. I want. Crazy, we actually nigga. all sampled. Yeah, we all, had, we all oh, yeah, done different versions of it. Oh, then you yeah. just you just got it, huh? I you know, just hit. It was one of them nights. A lot of times, a lot of music. Some things was already said before. Sounds you already heard before. Mm-hmm. It's just like recycling shit, and it's making it like, okay, you did it this way. I'm gonna make it better. That's how. That's how exactly. it usually be. Sometimes you don't make it better. Sometimes it was the name, but sometimes you fuck it up. To, to be able to take someone that was already proven to mm-hmm. win, someone that was already proven and successful, and sin, for some reason, rather y'all was around for it in your generation or not, this generation and now, because it's like the older generation jump on it. Then y'all, if for some reason, it still work. Yeah, it's, it worked even if y'all never heard. It, y'all like, damn, that John bang. Mm-hmm. Because a fucking hit record is a hit record. Good music. Yeah. Uh, but now making a hit record, Yada, you made a lot of them. You uh, you're a writer outside of your, you know, being an artist. You know, what's what, what's the main ingredients to making a hit record? I think I realized um, the the. No, hold up! Before you go, how many hit records do you got under your belt, rabbit, for you and written? We ain't got to say who it was you written for. Yeah, I, I don't know a lot, you know. But a I lot. think that question conversation starts with like, what is your idea of a hit record? You know, I think to some people, hit record is, you know, a gold, platinum, uh, certified record. You know, some people, idea of a hit record is shit. This shit got on the radio. <laughs> some people, idea of a hit record is shit. When I perform this shit, the crowd go fucking crazy. Some people, idea of a hit record is, I mean, hit record is shit. The streets bumping this shit. Nigga, you hear this shit out. This shit in the streets. This shit in the club. Like, nigga, it's that. You know, it's, it's some street songs that ain't never went gold. That's like, man, that's a hit record. All right, let me ask you a question. How many platinum plaques you got from writing? Uh, right now, I mean, I don't know the number, but definitely like over twenty. Over twenty. Yeah. Platinum plaques. Yeah. Crazy thing is, I don't even get plaques anymore. I got so many certifications that I just I haven't even turned to because I, I don't have wall space and I put real art on my walls. So I put plaques in the bathroom, but all my plaques in the bathroom are like four or five years old. And I stopped certifying shit because like I ain't got nowhere to put it. All right, God damn. So. But 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 like when I see the main ingredients to making a hood, yeah. like when you're in a studio, what is like the ingredients? I like? think it's just authenticity. I think authenticity. I think um, you know it depends. Some artists are very more calculated, where to like they understand the science of what makes a record, a record from like okay three bridges in the in the or, um, bridges in the hook three hooks and need to be the hook should be eight bars or twelve bars or four bars or your verse should be this amount and this and you know. But I think. Bro, I think this shit is just like connecting with people. When you, like a record that connects with a body of people usually takes off. You know, whether it's the lyrics were emotional and it's like cause emotions, no matter how little people in a community speak on their emotions, we all have them. So like a lot of emotional records connect. Um, sometimes energy music is like, man, this shit just like 
At a cookout, man, that shit made the family move. It was the energy. Or at the club, this shit made them hoes feel they self. You know what I'm saying? Like, or shit. It's, or fuck, it's, it's the right thing dropping at the right time. Like, like when Childish Gambino dropped This Is America, it's like the video, just the point he dropped, the time he dropped it at, and all the references and the ad-libs. It's just like a lot of times you get a hit record just based off something dropping at the right time, you know? Like, Baby won a Grammy for, for that song that was about, like, the world and how it is right now. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like he, that was the right time for that. I think I think right place, right time. Um, uh, right place, right time. Uh, fucking energy, uh, emotions, or like, um, man. And sometimes virality come from like shit. Just like sometimes shit just hit the ear a little differently. You know, like when I first dropped Poland and that was the first time the world heard that my effect on my voice. It's like, bro, I ain't never heard this before, you know? Like, what the fuck? Same thing when I did One Night a long time ago. And I, but I think a thing that helped me become such a successful artist was my image. People were like, well, here's something. Like, I ain't never heard this before. Then they see me like, this black ass nigga with red hair and beads. Like, who is this? You feel me? Like, I, so I think in your imagery, I think that happened for 6 9 I think 6 9 lasted a long time based off of his image. Because I, I, like, I just don't think. And this is my opinion. You don't take it how they feel. I just don't think a lot of his records were that good, you know. And, and but I think he had a strong image, and he gained a cult following based on his character, whether that was being a bad guy or whether it's being like this person who gives back all the time, or like or just trolling. You feel me? Like kids relate to that, and so I think that's how he had a lot of big records. You know, you could really trick someone into rocking with something if you know how the propaganda if it's the right propaganda you know same way as you can trick people into thinking something's whack that they might not even believe is whack based on propaganda you know i think um a lot of we have a lot of um people in our community the urban community who have power and they abuse it sometimes and and they use it whether to you know make the world think a nigga is this way or shit on a nigga or whatever try to change an agenda um instead of helping them you know like abuse, like just abusing your power, you know. I think we got a lot of, and you know, I think, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, this episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by Aura Watch. Throughout March Madness, you can get hundreds of dollars off dope ass watches from Aura with code M D W O G. Check these joints out. Look, uh, the red one, uh, the black and kind of like brown. Mm, look at this. Look at this. Mm. This is the Aquaman watch. The Aquaman. This is the Nipsey Hussle blue. Look, I this actually, I, I like this. This is this, this the one I be rocking the most right now. You know, Aura has high quality luxury watch brand without the luxury price tag. So you're getting a, a great watch without being overcharged. With solid stainless steel cases, high quality automatic movement, sapphire crystals, and FKM rubber straps, Aura's attention to detail and craftsmanship shows through each watch. Aura is designed to look, feel, and function like luxury timepieces without the luxury price tag. If you like clean, if you like something that's your go-to, Aura.watch slash M-D-W-O-G, that's Aura. Aura Aura.watch slash M-D-W-O-G, use that code, for $100 off a watch, there's no limit to how many watches you can get with the discount code. So go wild. Or a watch. Get $100 off. Look at it. Do your thing. It's all about the aura. What is your aura? Mine's just these nice watches right here. I'm going to unbox one so you can see it. You can check it out. Mm, look at this. Look at this. You see it? You see? Oh, 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 look at this. God come. Uh, that's, look at this. Wham! Oh, it's still not there. Oh. Okay. The all black one. Yeah. Aura. Go get your watch now. Code M D W O G. We're going to treat you right. This episode of Me and I's Worth a Game is brought to you by Supercuts. 
There's nothing more satisfying than making a smart choice. We can all agree on that, right? Especially a smart hair choice. At some salons, you don't know what you're getting into. That's not the case with Supercuts. They delivered close to 22 million in 2023 with an average of with an average rating of 4.88 out of 5. So that means they chop you, they tie dot, lead to the side, whatever you want. Super cup. You're happy when you're leaving out the door. And I know you're asking, 4.88 out of 5? Why is the, the rating so high? Maybe because every Supercut stylist has an ongoing training way beyond what you receive at cosmetology school. For your next haircut, use your head. Head to your local Supercuts. Real smart hair. For a real smart hair experience, simply walk into Supercuts or visit Supercuts.com to find the nearest salon that's close to you. Supercuts. Get chopped right. Yes. Okay, so making this album, this concrete album, right? I know y'all did a, a, a zillion songs because I heard songs two years ago. So I can imagine how many was done. Um, what is the main goal for Concrete Boys? What, 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 what is the message, you know, uh, the vibe that y'all want to leave on the people? You know, those are two different questions. And I think, like, the goal was, like, I just want to, I just want to get, I just want to get, I want, I just want to get, I want all my friends that have money in their pocket. Okay. You know? And I was, I, I, I've always said this, like, bro, I was just obsessed with, like, culture in the 70s, 80s, 90s with groups and gangs. Like, one of my favorite movies is The Warriors. You know, mm. and in The Warriors, everybody had uniforms. That's why we ain't even today, but when you see us, we usually all in the same color. Yeah. Because I like the whole idea of, like, man, togetherness. Like, even if before we started popping, if we went somewhere, y'all, like, you just curious, who are those guys? Because it's like, it's like the same if you in a restaurant, you see a bunch of kids on a field trip, they all got church tees on. Like, well, you know they together. Even though you don't know shit about them, you're like, oh, this must be a group or something. And that's what, like, that's what I want. I always wanted to be like, hey, if you see a, 10 niggas in green, it's like, it's just like, we need to know what they do. Or you just, your brain get a little more interested because you're like, damn, this is, why do they all look cool and they all are like, what, what is that? What the hell is them doing over there? You know, so like my thing was like, I wanted to make sure everybody had, um, you know, money and everybody got on their own thing. But like, I just obsessed with like the togetherness of groups back in the day. Nowadays, niggas be homies and it's like, you may know niggas together if they got a chain, but a lot of times you don't really know who with who. You don't and them, but now again, a lot of times niggas be hopping from click to click and shit be like that. But I always wanted to solidify, like, bro, you know who my niggas is. You mm-hmm. know who I'm with. Even if I ain't around, nigga, nigga, we moving anywhere together. Somebody got the same shit on. Like, we, mm-hmm. we on one nation. You feel me? And I grew up with a sister who was six years younger than me, so my, and my, me and my brother wasn't close. So, like, I never had siblings. So I'm so big on brother, brotherhood. Like, when I was in college, I almost tried to join the fraternity if I stayed in school long enough. Because, like, brotherhood, I always say, like, bro, ain't nothing more valuable to me than friendship. For real, for real. Like, I ain't no money, ain't no car, ain't no, because, bro. Man, I just left a place where a nigga said, bro, some people are so poor, all they have is money. And mm-hmm. that was the craziest thing I ever heard. Like, because, nigga, some niggas ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? No, no real friends. You ain't got no... Nobody love you. Nobody fuck with you because you a dick. And all you got is riches. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, you ain't, you don't have your vacations when you go places. It ain't the same when the family or the gang go to, could go to fucking Miami and it's better than you going to fucking Turks and Caicos because nigga, niggas is friends. Niggas is, niggas love each other versus you paying bitches to come hang with you or you, you got to make sure everybody, something, you trying to pay people. You bribing your way into friendship. You feel me? Um. And no matter what I do in the world, I never enjoy it much unless I have my friends with me. No matter, I could be fucking in the Great Wall, in China on the Great Wall, but like, nigga, I'd be like, man, I know my homies at home laughing right now. You feel me? Like, cause, bro, it's unfortunate you gotta die alone in the casket, but bro, life is worth living with people you love. That's really what I stand on. Before we get out of here, yes, Camel, I want everybody, everybody to get the people a word, uh, whatever's on your mind, tell them whatever about concrete, about your life. You want to give them a message, just whatever. Um, one thing I want to say is, I just want to say, whatever like you're thinking about, whatever you 
aspire to be whatever you think might not be possible, but it's something you want to do. I just feel like you should just try. It's the it's the best thing we all can do is just try. Obviously, don't hate on nobody else, or you probably won't reach your goal. Feel me? You never know what it could turn into, cause both didn't sign, both didn't start this from fucking just like oh this is just talent or this is just like this like you know really help. it was it was brotherhood. He went to high school or drafted. I was just mm-hmm. there. I was just a, I met both on a whim. I was in college. I fucking lied to my parents. I told him I needed money for books. I used the Uber to go to his video shoot and I met him. I was just 17 years old. This kid just walked up to him random. Shit turned into this. Look where we at. DC was just randomly just got hit up by both. Kara randomly came. Me and Kara came around same time. She randomly came on a trip to Texas with him. It was just random. I just t- and, and after I met Vote, I ain't talked to him for a year. I was trying to get in contact with him randomly, but like here, here and then, you know what I'm saying? After a year, one day he was just like, yo, pull up to the studio. After that, every day, call me tomorrow. Call me tomorrow. Call me tomorrow. Just it didn't come from like forced. You know, it didn't come forced. It wasn't just like. But you gotta check. I think more to what he's saying. You gotta chase the things you want in life. Exactly. I was gonna say, just don't be scared to take risk and like sacrifice. Like it's okay to fail. You know, like everybody's human. You can't like nobody's perfect. So, and I feel like that's a good thing too. To like you gotta feel so you can learn from your lessons and. Just take criticism, even if people are hating, you can still, okay, I feel like I could do this better. Or I need to change this. Or, like, it, it, you just can't take everything to heart, too. Like, you just got to take it with a grain of salt. But at the end of the day, you still got to focus on what you want to do. You know, that's and, all that matters. And have confidence. It's okay to be the underdog. Have confidence. As long as you got confidence, just like Boat said earlier, as long as you got confidence, you know you that nigga, you know you popping your shit, doing whatever you're doing, you're not hating on the next nigga, you worried about what you're doing, you're going to get to where you're supposed to go. And, and it always happens, like, everybody's steps are somebody could be faster than the other it just takes time like i feel like that's how i got here where i'm at today like i feel like i wasn't the best rapper at first but it took time and i found my sound to where i'm getting at and i know now niggas can't fuck with me like like i'm confident with it um i just want to say man keep it real you know what i'm saying keep it real uh keep your family and friends uh close and i definitely want to say i appreciate it because y'all I, this ain't my first interview but I, I appreciate Gillian Wallow for having us. Not real shit. Mm-hmm. And we appreciate it. Real talk. Appreciate and I want to say thank you to my dog, Boat. Because Boat not only me, but gave everybody on camera an opportunity. A real one. And never accepted a dime for me. I want to say that on camera too. Boat has never accepted a dime for me. Boat didn't take a dime at all. Like he, he made did. sure that everybody can pay their own bills. Like he's not, I don't, oh, I don't need to get this from you. Like he, he, he never even asked. Like, not even think about it. Just like he just wanted us to go out there and do what we got to do and just only just want to help us. That's all he wants to do and just be real with us and real, give us real feedback. Like, And if you got people like that, even 25% like that in your corner, I mean, shit, keep them around, keep your family close, um, keep the people that, that, that always want to see you do great. And in the best position, keep them close and just uh, never give up on your dreams. Always chase your dreams. Get your money. I understand everybody got a life and reality come, but never stop chasing your dreams. At all. So, don't, let, don't let life make you stop chasing your dreams just because real life hitting hard. Yeah. And uh, I think just make the most out of your life. Whether you got a million dollars or 16, life is for living. Okay? You ain't like, it, this earth was started, this shit went about millionaires and trillionaires, nigga. Just about living, you know? This shit came down the line. Niggas be having shit fucked up, but you gotta live because you could die tomorrow. So just enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy, enjoy whatever. Whatever it is, nigga. I, I, I'm going off topic. I always do this. But man, I went to Africa, man, and seen kids dancing, no shoes on, huts, no candy flood, no toilet, outhouse, no water. Gotta go five miles walk to get water, like buckets on the head. They the happiest, dancing, singing, joyful. It's love. You know what I'm saying? Mothers and fathers holding hands in 90 degree weather, no shoes on, feet dirty, blisters, but they happy. They go to sleep at night with smiles and they wake up with joy because they're happy, you know? So it's like, it's just understand that, bro. Life is about living and uh, don't get so caught up in working so hard. One last question. You, you know said to, that the last question. <laughs> no, do you know how to drive a boat? 
Nah, man, I, I, I haven't. I've only been on the boat a couple times. Uh, actually, man, that water shit is something different. You got seasick? Bro, yeah. I actually hate boats. Careful. And your name also, boat. wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Our sister, our sister Kara not here, but I know. Shout out to Kara, bro. Yeah, shout out to KB. Shout out to KB. <laughs> and I speak for her. You know, she texted me and said she appreciate y'all. Which and one? you know what I'm saying? Her she people. love all the fans. And y'all go stream that new album. You That's know what right, I'm saying? That's volume one. My bad, y'all had to y'all, yeah. say that <laughs> real quick. Y'all go do that. Million dollars worth of game. Coming this nigga to you. tired. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I caught I caught a Reggie kind of. Mitch, <laughs> <laughs> Mitch had some bad weed. Yeah. 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 Mitch, <laughs> Mitch had man, Mitch always smoking bad weed. Uh, million dollars worth of game, Atlanta, Georgia, man. <laughs> Concrete boys, man, it's going down, man. Another episode down. Listen, man, check them. Listen, it's not y'all. It's about us. It's us. It's, it's us. Just like it's that. Right. <laughs>